Shelley, thank you very much. We are here at the uh, Grapponi Center in Concord. This is a shared venue uh, for Senator Kelly Ayotte and, of course, Chris Sununu running for governor. Joining me now live is Jennifer Horn, chairman of the Republican Party. How are you feeling about tonight? I'm very excited. You know, it's been a long campaign for everybody. We know this is going to be a close race tonight. So the polls, the last polls had finally just closed, and now we're just waiting for the numbers to start coming in. A razor's edge in this race for governor, um, and a lot of money poured into this race. Uh, sometimes their messages felt like they got drowned out by that, you know, the national races. Right. right. Well, the governor's race and the Senate race is also very close here in our state. Um, Senator Ayotte certainly was outspent by almost $15 million on the ground here in New Hampshire. A lot of money came in. Uh, but we, we, we feel like we ran a strong race. We know that Senator Ayotte has been a strong, independent voice for the people of New Hampshire. Uh, she's made her case. She ran a great campaign. And now... It, you know, it's, it's nothing else to be done tonight. We're just waiting, waiting to see how it goes. Let's touch on Chris Sununu a little bit. Uh, such a well-known name uh, in the state. His father served as governor, three-term governor back in the 80s. Uh, his brother, right, a congressman and a senator. So he really had a lot of name recognition to go on. Uh, should that play in his favor tonight? Well, name ID is always very important in a, in a uh, as in, in, in a campaign, of course, and uh, I think Chris has run a strong campaign as well. He's made a really clear argument to the people. He's got uh, 15 years of experience in the private sector. Uh, he, you know, he's got a, a record of his own to stand on. And you know, when you compare him to his opponent, Colin Van Ostern, really one of the least qualified people ever to run for that race, uh, it certainly helps to be a Sununu. But Chris Sununu is a very accomplished uh, individual in his own right. In his own right, certainly CEO, Waterville yeah. Valley, right? Exactly. And really, sort of a different person. Personality in terms of genial and sort of speaks from the heart. It, very it seems optimistic, very enthusiastic, very sincere. He loves his state. Uh, you know, he 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 is really personally, genuinely committed to, to public service. I think that comes through when you talk to him. I think the voters kind of saw that in him, and and we're we're hopeful. Certainly, we know again it's going to be a really close race, but we're hopeful that uh, you know he's going to come out ahead in all of this. Jennifer Ward, wondering if we could switch gears a little bit and talk about what happened in Dover. There was an injunction that came down uh, to, to, to do with the closing of the polls, right? There right, was some confusion. Right. Well, an email went out from the city incorrectly the first thing this morning telling voters that the polls are open till 8, but in Dover they're open till 7. They took a corrective action, sending out multiple emails following that to uh, to correct it, um, and we agreed with the initial um, answer from the state that that corrective a action was adequate. The Democrats didn't believe it. They brought it to court. Um, the judge ruled that the polls should stay open until 8 o'clock, and we certainly respect the ruling of the court. What are, do you think that impacts the outcome for the Republicans in any fashion? Well, you know what, Dover is, uh, you know, not not a huge, um, not a huge city, uh, and it certainly leans tends to lean Democrats. So it always that would always concern us. Um, but it, certainly at this point, all, all we can do is respect the decision of the court and move on. Jennifer Horn, chairman of the Republican Party. Thank you so much for joining us live. Thank really you. appreciate your thank time. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Right, thank right. you. Check right. in later.